Well, hi there. I'm going to uh, demonstrate something really cool that I, I learned by watching some uh, videos on YouTube on how to take my MIDI keyboard, there's the MIDI keyboard, and plug it into my iPad and record with it through this really slick little thing called the camera connector. And what it is, it's just a little dealy bobber that you uh, get from Apple. You plug it into the bottom of the iPad where you would normally charge it and sync it. Plug your USB cable from your keyboard, which is right here, into the iPad. And then you go over to your, your screen and then you click GarageBand. Okay, now we've got up right here right now, we've got a bass guitar. Now watch what happens when we use the keyboard with this, we get this sound. Now, whereas we would have done it like this, we can now go. So that what that offers us is to be able to record into GarageBand. So let's go, um, let's make a, a, a song real quick, just and see what it's like. So we'll go to our track, and we're gonna we're gonna take care of this track here. We're gonna delete that. Let's add a drum track. We're going to add a drum track. So we'll go instrument. And we're going to go over to smart drums. Because I don't want to spend the time making my own drums. Usually I do. But hit smart drums. And let's pick a... How about the live rock kit? And let's see what we get. That's nice, but uh, I don't like that as much. As... Now let's try. I like that. That's nice too. Oh, I like that one. So let's record that. So we go back here and we hit record. And now we'll let it... we'll let it play for eight bars or so because we can. We'll get we'll get the nice little drum set in there. Maybe we'll even add a little flare at the end. Watch. Okay, so now we'll play that back and we get. That's nice, huh? Okay. So now we got our drums in there. We're gonna go back to our song, our tracks, and now we're gonna use the keyboard to make our bass guitar. So we're gonna head over our bass, smart bass. And we're gonna pick um, we're gonna pick the upright bass, and we're gonna play it this time with the keyboard while we play back the drone track. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so what we do now is we just play that back and we'll, what we just did with the keyboard will be on here. Isn't that nice? And we did that all through a keyboard plugged in to the iPad playing the sounds out of it, which I think is really kind of cool. Now if I wanted to, I could even go as far as to go instruments and head on over to uh, maybe the keyboard sounds and what do you say we uh, we add some strings or some synth pad to that let's add some Hollywood strings and see what we get ready we'll play them through the keyboard here we go Now when we play that back, well, we're supposed to be able to, what happened there? Let's look and see if we got our strings recorded. Oh, I didn't get them until the very end. I'm so sorry. Let's just do that again. Make sure we're recording on that. 
Now, if we did that right, we'll see if it actually recorded it. It did, and here it goes. We just back it up and we hit it. So there you go. That's a little demonstration of midding up a keyboard controller to the iPad by using GarageBand. Now, that to me is really cool. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration.